Okay, so now that we've uh, looked at posting and doing sort of free uh, posts, and don't under, under, underestimate the uh, ability to get people signing up, because if you uh, demonstrate your interest and show your authority, people will be more inclined to uh, sign up. But if you want to go further and you want to do paid advertising, you can get quite a lot of reach with a small amount of money on Facebook. So it is quite good. And I'm going to show you that now, but also give you uh, some tips and some warnings on what not to do. Uh, so one of the first things is to boost a post that is already going well. So if you've got a post that you've uh, that's got your affiliate link on it and is doing well and it looks organic and, and you're getting uh, some comments, then that is an ideal post to boost. Now, uh, you have to have an ads account attached to your Facebook page. I don't want, I don't have an ads account attached to my personal Facebook page. Um, so I don't have any way of uh, boosting this. But over on my skillful my business page, and I'm not sure you may have a, um, uh, it might only be business pages that you can boost, but you can see here there is an option to boost the post. So this one's just been posted a couple of hours ago, three hours ago. Um, it's reached a fair few people. I've got no comments. I pr probably wouldn't necessarily boost this, and it's got it's not actually got my link associated with it anyway. But if I did want to boost this post, then I would simply um, press the boost button, and you can dictate how much you want to spend, how much you how long you want to spend it for, how many dollars per day, and it will give you an indication of how many people will uh, are able to reach that post but the key here is to make sure the targeting is correct that is really the essence of uh, Facebook advertising is to try to fine-tune the people in which you display it to so I'm going to give a list of the demographics of what what I have found to be um, the demographics of the ideal candidate to take up meditation groups. Primarily our leaders are female. Uh, they can be any age, but sort of middle age, maybe from um, 30 till about 70. So there's a good spread of ages there of people doing meditation classes. They also tend to be in the uh, health and wellness professions. So I get a lot of interest from teachers, from hypnotists, coaches, Reiki practitioners, uh, other spiritual healers, um, and those sorts of people. So those are the people that you want to target. And if you are very good at Facebook advertising, you might run several ads and try each one of those little niche areas and see which ones are performing the best and then hone into that niche area. So on the Facebook page, the um, place you will do that is here. Choose the uh, people you choose through targeting and you can edit that and you can select here the age, for example, let's say from 33 up to 65. If you want to advertise only in your own country, then you can do that. And then here, uh, you can put in the interests of the people. So now I might put in here meditation. Um, and then you can click here and then it will give you options for, for other uh, suggestions. But I've found that Meditation is not necessarily the best keyword to search for. It's okay, but I found that when I search for people who are interested in meditation, often they've got a very, very strong practice. They're aligned with a particular tradition and they're not as interested in learning new methods, so to speak. So uh, you can try meditation, but it might be worthwhile uh, say targeting, as I said, pe people say uh, hypnotists.
So I'll put hypnotherapy. Um, or hypnosis, for example, and then you can have other suggestions. So you can add more than one suggestion down here. Uh, and if, as you put more suggestions, you'll reach more people. Um, and so you, you, so you save that. It says it's too specific, so you might want to adjust that. And then when you're ready, you select your budget and you boost that. As I say, I'm not going to boost this. This is just a, a demonstration. But that is the easiest way to uh, really uh, boost and use paid advertising to uh, get further reach. Now, again, I'll reiterate, there are really three things in my experience that make a difference. The first is uh, how catchy the image is and Generally, so if, you, you, if you've got an image and perhaps a saying that you like, often a lot of people will like it. If you post it up on your web page and you're getting interaction already, then that's a good indication that it's catching people's eye and people are looking at it and, uh, you know, taking action. So that's a good way to test whether a image is responsive or not or attracts attention. It might be the most brilliant, beautiful image, but you post it and it doesn't get any interaction at all. And so something is amiss there. The, the next most important thing, or actually I believe the most, is the targeting of it. And then the third is the um, response time. So once it is posted, being quick to respond to other people's comments or uh, questions or registrations of interest is also really important. If you've got those three, then you'll find that the uh, boosting a um, ad like this can be quite profitable. So you can boost it for around twenty or thirty dollars and get a reach of many several thousands of people. And then if only one of those sign up, that's two hundred dollars uh, profit for that sign up. Plus, of course, any downstream money that those people might get if they become an affiliate as well. All right, so that's how you boost a post.